Okay. Topic we are going to discuss is entity based access configuration. This is a feature release plan for the IRM product as part of May 2025 store release. Prerequisite is Yokohama release for the platform. This feature release is available to all IRM SKUs. Quick introduction of this feature entity based access configuration allows for granular control of user access to records that are related to the entities. This approach addresses customer need for data segregation of records that are related to entities structure. With that, let's dive into the demo. Okay, what we see here on the screen is the entity-based access configuration application. This is enabled when the plugin GRC entity-based access plugin is installed. A couple of roles are installed that allow for managing the configurations or setup of this application. In the application navigator, let us navigate to the properties and make sure that entity based access on record types related to entity is enabled and enable data filters on record types consuming entity based access is enabled as well and save this. Once this is complete, we can move on to configurations. So let's review an example entity here, which is Asia. Um, this is a business unit. Let us say we have a business need as follows. Andrew Taylor is from second line risk global leader. And there is a need for Andrew to see downstream risks and issues for Asia region. Um, whereas Able Tutor is a second line risk manager. And there is no need for Able to see downstream risks and issues for Asia region. Uh, both of the users are okay to view the controls list if you will at this point and there is no current indication from the leadership that there is a need to protect that data across the regions now with that let us see how this is accomplished going back to the application navigator we will open the entity configurations in a new tab we have set up one entity configuration for asia which is active um, the configuration is applicable to the entity and downstream entities let us review how this is set up so let us click new over here. And as we can see how the form works is you are supposed to indicate the configuration type as entity, entity class, or entity type. Um, basically, a uh, basic idea is that the configuration applies to entity of either an individual entity or entities that belong to a specific class or entities that belong to an entity type. Um, once, once the entity selection is made, you can indicate the applicability is through this for a single selected entity or if it is for the selected entity as well as the downstream entities. You can then select the users and the groups that have access to this and the users and groups can also be indicated by the attributes, user fields and group fields on the entity. Once this record setup is complete, this can be submitted. So this is what we have created for Asia. We have granted Andrew Taylor, uh, who is a risk leader, the access to Asia entity and the related records. With that, let us see how this is further executed. Going back to the application navigator, we are now going to configure the bulk access update configurations. So let us open that in a new tab. As we can see, the, there is an entry here for Asia, which has been set up and is enabled. So let's review that. For individual entity Asia and for the downstream entities as well, we are allowing access to risk records and issue records if the criteria that have been specified in the configuration are met. Um, a real quick view as to how this form works is um, it allows selection of different record types. So you could select among which record types the restrictions must be applied. With that, let us see how this is further executed. As a next step, I have navigated to scheduled jobs and I've searched for a scheduled job uh, that start with sync applicable entities. There are two scheduled jobs depending on the access type that you have configured, whether it is for an individual entity or for entity type or class. Uh, one of these two scheduled jobs will enforce the access. But for now, we are going to execute the scheduled job, but in real time, these scheduled jobs continue to run on uh, an hourly basis. Once the scheduled job is run, we can now validate if the access restrictions are being enforced. To validate if the access restrictions are being enforced, we will impersonate Andrew Taylor and we will 
refresh the Asia entity. Uh, notice that downstream risks and issues are currently not visible, but as I refresh the screen, they should become visible to Andrew Taylor. So we can see that the Andrew Taylor is able to now see this, but now let's impersonate able tutor and able tutor should not be able to see downstream risks and issue issues once the screen is refreshed. So that is how this restriction is enabled by entity-based access. Navigating back to the application here to wrap up, um, the solution allows for record level access configurations and bulk updates. The same can be configured for entities of a specific entity class or part of entity type. With that, we will wrap up.